Well, first and foremost, you know, bringing a film to Sundance is just one of those things that if you put it on a resume, yeah. it's gonna stick with you. Like, are you pretty? Are you, I mean, just, just like, yeah, this is great. This is gonna happen. You know, yeah. it's just one of those things. Are you always excited to bring something to a festival like this? I am excited. Yeah, it's been six years. So I was here in 2011 with Pariah, yeah. and now it's 2017. I'm back with Mudbound. So it's great, and it's also like a big step up in scale. So now we're telling this epic story, you know, with an ensemble cast, and it's a, you know, it's, a, it's, a, it's got war elements, it's got visual effects. It's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's exciting to be here, and it's exciting to experience it with audiences in a non-commercial environment so it's just about the art so yeah now when you were field, fielding everything kind of just kind of checking out where everything was was it interesting to see how much the south has changed or hasn't changed depending on area or the way things were working well i think in general you know i'm from the south i'm from nashville tennessee and so i grew up in the south and like in the suburbs and i feel like you know we as a country we can't just you know haven't changed as much as we think we have you know there's no more signs but certain attitudes still prevail and so i think it's important for us you know in the film, you know, there's a burial, which is very symbolic at the beginning and end of the film, and it's like either we're going to bury our history, or we're going to, like, put our history away, and like, but acknowledging it, and acknowledging who we're going to be as we walk away from it, and so, like, one of my favorite moments is the last ending of the film where Henry and Jamie walk away from that grave two different men, you know, and so I think that's something that we have to deal with as a country. Now, did you tell your main actors anything about their friendship? What did you tell them what kind of friendship you want to have? Of course, you know, being in war created something, but is there anything you kind of try to impart on them? Yeah. I like to organically create the chemistry, and so, for example, so Garrett Hedlund and Jason Clark like road trip to Louisiana together instead of getting on a plane. So they already had built a bond. And with Jason and Garrett, they're hanging out afterwards. And also, in terms of my process, I don't do rehearsals; I do kind of like workshops. So just I get the actors facing each other, and we just do like repetition, you know, just getting each other's faces, you know, just get quickly to the discomfort. So when we get to set, that ease is there, that trust is there, because you've been, you know, just making eye contact for 60 seconds, which you know seems easy, but it's actually you know uncomfortable. So I just do that with everyone and with like Carrie Mulligan and Mary J. Bly, just have them in the room facing each other saying, you have the power. No, you have the power. Just 60 seconds, just really seeing each other. Because you know, at the end of the day, that's what, it all, that's what it's all about. See, really seeing each other as individual human beings.